Give me a bold prediction for Thursday night's game at FedEx Field. Alfred Morris runs for two touchdowns. Two TDs from I thought you said that we were going to be shocked by your bold prediction. No? I changed it when we were talking. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, all right. We'll come back to you. Well, that's <laughs> what you decided the, the not to The bolder bold. Yeah, what's <laughs> the more bold? That's, that's, bold. Right, that's, not like that's mildly bold. Chair, we've, bold. Had, we've had I worse bold talking. predictions for sure on this show over the years, <laughs> no <laughs> doubt at all. I mean, that's fine. Two touchdowns is still. Yeah, young two touchdowns would be. The real young, yeah, that, yeah. All right, give me a bold prediction. Uh, you, I said, oh, I, you know what? I should take a moment to give you credit for last week's bold prediction. You nailed the Deshaun Jackson. 50 or more yards for a touchdown. Finally nailed that one. I mean, that kind of had to happen. But going back to, to it March though. and April, you, knew he, you knew he was going to have his moment to <laughs> sort of, you know, give it to the first All right, right fans, on. What do you got for New York? Um, Redskins win by 10 or more. Wow. That was mine. Well, you got to coordinate then. Oh, right on, right um, on. All right, so they easily win. I don't know if I don't know if it'll be easy, but I think I don't think the Giants are very good. I do think they're getting a little bit better on defense, a little a little healthier. Uh, if Jason Pierre-Paul can be a factor on defense, they they may be pretty good. Their cornerbacks are probably, I think they're pretty decent. Is, is but I, but other than that, I don't think they they're, they have a whole lot to worry about. I think that offense is struggling, and I think the Redskins are not struggling offensively. This is the game where where you know they outscore. You know, like, it could be like 31-21 or 31-14, that type of game. All right, Redskins win going away. Dan, what do you got? You know what? There's a chance I might just make the bold prediction, the same bold prediction every week in a row until it actually happens. <laughs> but I'm going to kind of double down on last week. Last week I said I thought Kirk Cousins was going to throw two interceptions. Yep. He threw one. This week I'm going to say that Eli Manning and Kirk Cousins both threw two interceptions. The four turnovers. At least, the at least four interceptions from the two quarterbacks. Oh, okay. In an ugly game then. Not necessarily. Yeah, it, it could be, pretty, be, could be exciting. I'm going to go, uh, if a Rackpo plays, I'll take, since, I, since you took my other one, I'll say two, two plus sacks for Rackpo if he plays. Wow. That's going out on a limb since that I is. think he has a half a sack through yeah. three games. Um, Can we get the all right. Yeah, what's the director's cut? It was four from a Rackpo. Four oh. sacks? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That is bold. That's <laughs> very bold. All right. I told you guys it was absurd. You scaled that back. Oh, well, I like that. The with more the bad, egregious, the, bad, uh, the better. 